Hey everyone, it's Mindy Hahn, the Midwest Premier Sports Handicapper, coming to you from TonySpicks.com and the half of the morning show duo, The Morning Steam with Ramon Scott. Uh, but hope you enjoy this free pick video from our show. Uh, be sure to click in the link in the description for our best bets. Now here is the pick. One more baseball game to talk about. We mentioned it's a big game tonight with LSU in Florida. LSU is favored, Mindy, to win now. All of us can't figure out. All of us. <laughs> looks like the oddsmakers have had it right. I mean, they've had, you know, um, they were favoring Florida in the last game. So here, though, it's uh, 130, 9 over 20. That's definitely the line here. I'd say it's the featured game of the night. I didn't have our graphic up there the whole time. I feel bad. I'll do it. 100 viewers in the chat. Thank you, everyone. All right, Mindy, College World Series tonight. Uh, probably be good ratings. Sure. One, even though with two SEC teams, the deciding game. Yeah, I don't know what happened yesterday, Ramon. That was wild. Never seen anything like that. I mean, uh, other than what Wake put it up in uh, – what versus like Alabama or something that they scored this was a college world series record 24 runs. <laughs> it was pretty wild. I'm going to go ahead and go back on LSU. Uh, I think they get it done. It was uh, nice for the Florida bats to explode all in one game. Uh, maybe they uh, got rid of all those bats in, in one. I, that's kind of how I see it. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and take LSU today. Well, I can't turn back now. I got to be on LSU uh, uh, here. The, they, Took a chance, saved their ace for this game. But, you know, Florida's got strong pitching, too. <laughs> and uh, maybe it'll be – that was the anomaly, getting 24 runs, because most of the teams have not been producing. There's been a lot of unders of late. So, yeah, stay tuned, Big Lucci. Last game coming up, then you can leave. Uh, we've got just <laughs> one game left, so – Here's Brett says, take the under in this one, but Theo says, take the over. D1 says, uh, under. Ron says, Florida and way over. Andre says, Florida run line. That's probably why. That's probably got to be close to $2, I would think. Leroy, LSU and under. I'm kind of with Leroy here. D1 is going to uh, give us some. Uh, football picks tonight. Yeah, there's only been two games decided, what, by more than two runs in the whole College World Series. Oh, wow, that's good. That's yeah. Good. All right. No. Well, I want to say hello and welcome to, ooh. <laughs> uh, interesting, ooh, comes in with some interesting takes for a first-timer. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, so just to call everybody in here a bunch of, uh, I, I'm going to have to defend our chat. I mean, uh, there's no doubt. I think we have the most knowledgeable chat, and I'm willing to debate Great. this. Uh, I'd love to have you join us, ooh, but I'm not going to take a, a, some a first-time viewer coming in and calling our team of experts here uh, amateurs. <laughs> I mean, these guys uh, Win like we, call it, day. we call it Team Steam for a reason. Uh, I will say this, Mindy and I aren't out here giving locks. Uh, all of our plays are pretty much equal. Yeah, we might tell you when it's a strong play, right? So, Bart Rodney likes skeins in there. So, is LSU a like? Ooh, says. <laughs> and uh, LSU for Rodney. Yeah. Well, there you go. See, I mean, so <laughs> not sure where you're heading. All right. LSU for sure for solo. Darren says LSU. And, uh, yeah, Birmingham a big win. I was able to get one win out of the show yesterday. Lex Steele here today. Nice to see you. Thomas Lewis, LSU and under. That's what I'm feeling, Mindy. I think we could get back to, what, big, get back to a low-scoring game there. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Ooh. Great. Uh, well, let's give Ooh a chance, Lex. I, I think Ooh is just, you know, it's easy to say, you know, because you see lots. And I, I, I uh, in defense of Ooh now, right? I, I don't want to be. <laughs> but uh, 
you know, we're not necessarily in the locks business. Mindy and I anyway, but we appreciate when everyone feels very, I think really Mindy, what it comes down to and talking about it is um, it's hard when you're in chat, like we can sit here and say, boy, I really like this one. Right. But chat, you know, they could type that in, but it's easier just to say lock and things like that. Right. Uh, they're strong play, if you will. And, uh, you know, I, I'm not one, even there are many people selling picks out there on these multi-capper sites where they have their uh, uh, game of the year, for example, right? Oh, this is my game of the year. How, I mean, you don't know next week you could have a much stronger game, couldn't you? Why is this your game of the year? So. <laughs> I was like, if we knew which ones were locks, we would just put all our money on those, right? Big Lucci, tongue in cheek there. We're all putting our money in and we're going to, someone's ending up with it all. Uh, here's one thing, though, that is interesting. Since we're done with the show, we got the WNBA game. We're on the LSU here, but I'll just give uh, one more. So, oh, ooh, be careful, man. You're about to get booted, I'm afraid. Um, <laughs> So here it is with this one, Mindy. Uh, statistics uh, uh, came out. Hello to Keith also there. Uh, the books are starting to report their numbers a little bit, and 30% of books' profits come from parlays. Yes, 29% come from parlays. Yes, you saw that, right? Just, just yes. came out late last week. Uh, the you know, It was reported by some of the, you know, the states starting to report, and then one of the uh, uh, sports business experts broke it down a little bit. So it's close to 30% of parlays account for the sports book profits, 5% in straight bets or other, other bets, including futures and things like that. So uh, no doubt you want to be, you know, playing straight bets. If you can I want to say hello to Sean Morrow here today. Thank you. Yeah, a CD getting, uh, you know, 6% <laughs> for yeah, six yeah. months. There you go. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but we can not not that too more. interested. Uh, yeah, I mean, I might be, uh, you know, uh, laying in bed. Laying in, uh, I'm no stock trader. I might be laying in bed, though, with my Robin Hood app and throwing <laughs> uh, buying and selling until I fall asleep. But uh that's funny, yeah. sports girl. I was also a former accountant. Hated it. Worked for, uh, you know, some for Deloitte and Touche and First National Bank of Omaha. Hated all the corporate world. That's why I'm here with Ramon every morning. <laughs> uh, loving it. Hey, want to tell everybody right now uh, if they were going to back us on the College World Series with LSU. Hey, go to your book right now. Take a look what's happening. There is definitely breaking uh, information, not with any personnel or anything, Mindy. The line is on the move. It's heading to a dollar thirty-five. It's heading to a dollar forty. You got to get on LSU right now if it's not too late. If you're going to play LSU, if you're on Florida, wait. Uh, don't go right now. Do not bet at this point. But I'm showing one uh, thirty-fives and one forties now across the board here. Ten cents right now. Uh, move on LSU. Maybe because we released it, uh, Mindy. <laughs> That's right. Had to be. <laughs> All right. Looks like Art here. Uh, I don't know if Art. Uh, maybe maybe Art has been here commentating before, but I'm glad to have Art here. He's ready to roll with the WNBA. Let's take a look in this one. <laughs> D1 says, "Give me Indiana Fever in the first five. <laughs> so, yeah, I. I Look, I, Big Lucci's saying, you know, 5K a month. We show that we can do we, that a month a lot of times just on this show. Well, you guys. Just, I mean, yeah, we just showed our, our uh, profit over the last month of uh, $2,000 with, with $100 bets. And I'm right. sure that maybe. And it looks like sports girls probably, you know, it, it depends how much you make is how much you bet as well, right? No, we, I mean, you know, we've had three very strong weeks. Uh, here of late so all right look at that sean morrow says look at that uh it started to see a dollar 48 so just feels like we got to get um get off the air here and get on the 
yeah, see, Scotch wins all the time. He knows what it's about, right? Oh, yeah. Everybody's very smart. Smart, you know, smart about sports betting. It's like anything with gambling. It's if you're playing black blackjack and you're up two grand, you need to leave instead of playing it all back. You know, it's about uh, knowing when to get your money in and getting out. Well, uh, like your mom took winners yesterday with golf instead of letting one ride, right? I mean, it's about oh, yeah. being smart with it. Yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks, Mindy, instead of, uh, yeah, three dimes or seven Well, I mean, dimes. it's when you lose, right? But but you took money out of it instead, oh, yeah. of, no. uh, instead of none at all. That's how I see it. Yeah. In fact, I, I was kicking, you know, I talked about on the show getting on it, uh, getting on with uh, um, Keegan Bradley, and um, I started to put a little more on him, and then all of a sudden he, he racked up an eagle and ended up with a four-stroke lead, and my window closed. I I was actually aiming to get maybe as much as a a thirty percent hedge, and I did ended up short of twenty percent because, you know, I'm, just like anything, when you're watching live betting, you're sitting there and gonna like, okay, I'm gonna give it one more minute or one more shot or one more possession, and it doesn't go your way. And when someone makes an eagle, rolls their ball up there, you know, <laughs> uh, four feet from the cup. Yeah, well, close, but you know, but still, know. you got an eagle right, and you're like, oh well, missed that opportunity, so could have probably uh, tacked on another. Like I said it was just a little Hawkins free throw. Four hundred, yeah, and I just uh, yeah. I, my record went from oh, yeah. uh, seven and eight, and so it should have been like ten and five, right? So yeah, well, I got WNBA again, also in one. You know, I had the uh, under as a premium in Washington and the uh, Liberty, and that that's one what I'm was, saying. That's the game, right? Oh, All yeah. she had to do is. Make a free throw, win the game. It's over. Doesn't go to overtime. And we all win the under, right? So thanks for watching. And make sure you get over to the Tony'sPicks.com website right now and check out our All Cappers tab where you can purchase some of our own personal picks. And be sure to go ahead and use the promo code TONYT at checkout to save at 20%. Okay. Have fun. Watch another video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.